everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to work on Laura's boots. This is the first video that will go up of the three videos that I have um, that I'm going to work on for Laura. But today we're going to do her boots. So I have these boots here that I got from Goodwill. I will have to alter them including cut, I believe it's actually this boot that I'm holding here. Uh, I have to cut one of them down shorter because her boots are... Do, do you hear me? Her boots are stupid. Her boots are so stupid. I hate them so much. But this is what I do for the things I love. <laughs> but one of the things I do like about them is that the zipper is only down to about mid-calf. Um, just It's just enough where you can get your foot in and then the rest of it just slips on. So, um... I was very happy to find something like that. The only thing that I'm not too thrilled about is, the, of course, the little slouched look. Um, when they're on my legs, I have very, very thin ankles. Um, I have very, like, dainty ankles. It's very weird. <laughs> so this is kind of loose, but I think I'm going to leave it because that's going to, that's just going to take up so much more time and effort and I still have to get the rest of this costume done. Like, I'm, I'm behind. The con is in two and a half months, and I need to get this done. So, uh, I'm going to take these, and I'm gonna get started. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut down, well, I'm measuring, and then I'm gonna cut down the boot that I need to, um, to about mid-calf length. Then I am gluing the lining to the pleather of the boot. Um, that just makes sure that it doesn't slip around. And I'm just using clothespins because that's what I had at the time um, to keep it together because I didn't want to pin it. Then I am sewing the edge of the boot. I am using uh, a receipt to help me get the pleather through because it is sticky. Then the next thing I'm doing is I am I had uh, made two strips of this plaid fabric that I have for my main skirt and uh, I am hand gathering it. Once it's all gathered, I then attempt and resize uh, the gathered fabric to the edge of the boot to give the boot its frill. And I'm just sewing it on. Next I start uh, doing the pink ribbon up the side of the boot and her ribbon is in an X shape so I wanted to make sure that the ribbon was facing the same way the whole way up so I just zigzagged one side and then when I was done with that I zigzagged the other. I was just eyeballing it. I probably should have measured it. It would have been, it would have gone a lot better but uh, I definitely just eyeballed it. and I melted the edges. That's what the fire's for.
Then I am gluing down the edges, the, the corners of the X's with some E6000 to help it hold it in place. I will be sewing over this, so I'm not worried about the glue giving out, but I, I just wanted to make sure that I had something holding it down. Next, I started the ribbons by um, sewing some of uh, some pink matte satin. And I'm just making regular little bows. Next, I start the long and painful process of hand studying this boot. This is probably the thing that took me the longest to do. This is just me adding an extra strap to the boot. She has three straps down at the bottom of her shoe. Um, actually, one of them goes over her toes, but I could not get that to look right since um, they're heeled boots and my toe, the toe space isn't that big, so I just adjusted it to where it would look good. I started adding another strap going up. Um, this is going to cover up the edges of the X's where the folds are, um, placing studs at every fold of the X.
I begin hand sewing uh, the strip down on one side. It's going to be the innermost side um, closest to the pink ribbon. That way I can fit two more little straps on there later. I am using embroidery floss just because it is a thicker thread and I want it to be as strong as possible. Um, I didn't want it to rip. Plus, uh, hand sewing needles are much thinner than embroidery needles and I didn't want to try and shove a really thin needle through two layers of pleather and a layer of lining, not to mention glue. Next, I am gluing down one edge and sticking it underneath that strip that I hand sewed on and I begin studying yet again. I'm also comparing it to the first boot and I realized that I didn't actually get it quite right, um, but that's fine because I believe the, uh, it, I believe it's wider up at the top of this boot than it is at the other boot since they are different sizes or different lengths. And then I did it again. When that was done, I tacked uh, the opposite side, uh, the inside part, down just so the strips don't kind of move around as I'm walking. Um, that'll just help them keep them in place a little bit better. Then I begin hand sewing the last bit down. It's a lot of hand sewing. It's a lot of hand studying. My hands hurt after making this. Especially going through this part, um, I was going through three layers, so it was really difficult to actually get it to, to go through all three, so this was especially slow moving.
bottom I just tied that thread in a knot and then I glued down that extra piece because I didn't want to go through the cardboard lining. Next I'm adding the chain on this boot since this is the taller boot she actually has three chains on it one silver and two gold versus the smaller boot which she has only two chains one silver one gold and so I tacked that through the topmost X part of the ribbon only tacking down the silver chain I will be attaching the gold chain to the silver chain just so I didn't have it all bulky up at the top. And what you aren't seeing off camera every time I lift up the boot is me trying to make sure that the chain is long enough and loose enough where it'll have the right amount of drape, I guess. There was a lot of finagling with this one especially just because there's three chains and I have to get them to, to hang right so there's a lot of back and forth. This one didn't go as smoothly as the first one. And this last piece is the ribbon just being tacked on over top of the chain that way it hides the chains where they meet. And finally, I am just adding the pink to her heel. I am using uh, some st four-way stretch spandex that has like a metallic hollow look to it. It's the same thing that I'm using for my bodice. Um, I have lots of it, so I didn't have any problem using any scrap. And I'm just gluing that to the heel. Since the heel isn't flexible, I don't have to worry about it stretching and ripping it from the glued spot. And then I just glue it into place. And there we are. Thank you so much for watching guys and if you want to keep up with any of my work in progresses I recommend following me on my Twitter it's at dolls underscore dress up and I, there I post all of my work in progresses as they happen so with that I will see you next time bye guys